After months of declining numbers, California is once again seeing a jump in COVID-19 cases, a nearly 30% spike in just the last week. The increase coincides with a loosening of restrictions and the rise of the highly transmissible Omicron strain. The question now is how much higher will case numbers go and will new government intervention be needed? KTLA Sandra Mitchell live in Pasadena with more on the numbers in LA County and what they mean. Sandra. Sharon, Micah, county health officials saying that the numbers actually could be much higher because a lot of people now are self testing, doing those tests at home. And if they test positive, they don't always report those results to the county health department. On the streets of Pasadena tonight, a surprising number of people are wearing masks outdoors again. COVID's never going to end if, like, the mask mandate keeps getting lifted, and like I just believe that everyone thinks that COVID isn't a real thing anymore. Andrea Vega lost two grandparents to COVID. Like others, she's concerned about a new jump in cases here in LA County. It's a little alarming, you know, because I want to stay safe. For the first time in two months, county health officials are warning of a high rate of transmission fueled by Omicron subvariants. The county now averaging 1,764 new cases reported every day. That is up from 1,261 cases just last week and double what it was just a month ago. So it kind of makes sense that the cases go up, people are less careful. The county health director calls the jump in cases pretty significant and has always stressed if the numbers align with CDC guidelines, LA could reinstate the indoor mask mandate. I'm just tired of trying to put on my mask again and hearing people tell me I have to put on my mask again. I think if everybody's already had their vaccines and they feel safe, then I don't think we need to get stricter on everything. Another concern after months of decline, the number of hospitalizations related to COVID are starting to go up again. It's also important to note that all of this comes just as a lot of people start to gather for graduations and prom. And keep in mind, we are also just a few weekends away from the big kickoff to summer Memorial Day weekend.